Show up. Hey, nice man. Stuff. Did you pee too low? You did peek too low. Yeah. Okay. Look, I want you to see this. If your crosshair was on her head right now, you would have killed her. Do you see how you're moving your crosshair up? That means you've reacted to seeing the jet and you've begun adjusting, which means if you didn't have to adjust, you would have shot. You would have killed her. She's right here. You have this window where you're faster than her. But because we had to make that adjustment, you lose. What you can do, um, if you have a buddy who's around your level, Mortal 3, uh, Low Radiant, Take these duels that happen a lot, aim, aim, boot up a custom with them, and run it a hundred times. Have them hold you with an op a hundred times. Like, spend multiple hours in a custom like this, and you'll get the reps in way faster. You'll learn how you can potentially fight against somebody holding you with op here. You'll learn what works and what doesn't. Like, jump spotting, maybe pre-firing, maybe you don't want to give up your location, but... It, it can be helpful to get these reps in because essentially what we're lacking is the technique. It's not perfect. I, I recommend you play King of the Hill. Basically, whoever's over here, the opper, as long as the opper wins, they remain opping. The moment you kill the opper, you swap. And that way you'll also learn what it feels like to be this opper and what works from the ops perspective and what's hard for the op to deal with. Uh, you don't want to just play the one side. So you keep switching, like find another jet main and you can learn what makes the op uncomfortable as well. Like when you're holding against your buddy, what's the most annoying thing for them to do? Um, I mean, hell, Suji's a tier three. He can find plenty of immortal threes in the uh, tier three channel who play on his servers who would be so down to do this. Like, I guarantee it. Asuna, we do not have a Twitter. I don't. What's up, Asuna? <laughs> yeah, maybe Asuna will custom with you. Uh, Suji. Hit <laughs> uh, the customs in the morning before my prac. That's what I'm saying. Jet Breeze. Bet. Good agent. Good map. Oh, shit. Wait, you got actually, you actually have upwards trajectory. Everyone else in Immortal 3 wondering when you're going to hit Radiant? Let me know when your tracker looks like this. Because Suji's probably going to hit Radiant. And if you wonder why he does it and you don't, this is going to be why. Super consistent. Okay, enemy team has double recon. They have no flashes. Interesting. We also have no flashes, but we got Reyna, I guess. Can we contact B? Can we hide from, uh, like, double... Okay. How are we gonna get out B main? I don't dislike the play, but I think I would feel for a pick elbow. They might push up elbow. Alright, let's walk out. Breeze attack is like miserable, especially when you're facing the two dudes. And so any like dry engagement you can get is super lit. And elbow is one such engagement. And we can generally like double swing, which is why I, I'd probably be looking. I mean this I'm works, I guess. I'm looking mate. If they walk this far down. Yeah, let's go. Can you shock? Cypher is here. Can you oh. shock? Yeah, case in point. Like, doesn't this suck ass? Two half wall, two half wall. Give me one late flank. Alright, did we ask Sova to shock the trip at all? Tech feels so hard. It is. Okay, so think of attack like this, Suji. Wait for them to f up. I'm Breeze. Uh, Think about attack that way. Don't go, oh, the onus is on us to take space. You're not wrong, it is. But in solo queue, every f***ing elo, all the way up to high radiant, you're gonna get people who are going to fight you um, before you come out. You're going to be able to find fights from this area, from this area, from this area, from this area. And the best way to win on Breeze is to find these fights because they're consistent. You feel basically just approach the round with, you know what? I'm just going to hover between these spots, aggressively clearing stuff with good crosshair placement and movement. And I'm going to hope one of them fights me. And then other than that, you just wait for one of your teammates to take some initiative and call a hit. You know why? On Duelist, you actually don't have much. You don't have much control over the hits on this map. Like on A, you really need a Sofa drone and a Viper wall. On B, you really need somebody to break this trip, which might be with a drone or a shock if the Sova is really prepared. Um, so just wait for these fuckers to call you out. Otherwise, you just aggressively look for 50s um, and make sure that you pull a teammate with you so that they're not really 50s, like pull Reno with you or something. Cypher is here. Can you shock? <laughs> okay, I mean, our Sova did shock, but he's, he's just bad. He, like... You can't just wing this shock, unfortunately. So, like, you might want to consider starting updraft on Breeze on pistol 
like in the pre-round you can be like silva do you have a shock for the trip or do you have a lineup and if he's like no and we end up having to hit b it'd be really nice if you could just updraft dash so that the trip is not your problem uh because it's way better if the second person in line hits that trip because you're out on site and you, you can try to find cypher and take them down the first person getting hit by the trip is a lot worse yep i like this already I got can we flash and peek this? Do flash? No flash, just wait, just wait. They orbed off me mid. Yeah, I like this a lot. So you're gonna jump up and you're gonna get a fight. Like, statistically speaking. And it'll be lit. Nice. Here. See? Like, all you do is wait for them to do shit like that. <laughs> it's It sounds so dumb, but you, somebody's always gonna do something like that. Dead. One, one tunnel? We should split A, I think. Go, 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 go. Drop your orb. Jay, Jay, um, why are you scaling out with Marshall and not Sheriff? Like right here. Like at this point, when we're coming out this way. Isn't this Sheriff time? You know, if it's just for Duelist, I felt stumped on attack many times. Um, if you're playing any role that's not Duelist on this map, you should be watching my Breeze Guide and you should be bringing insane amounts of tech to your attack half. If you're not Duelist on Breeze, your job is to have that fancy tech. You should have that shock lineup and you should tell your teammates, yo, I can break that trip for you. You should have a KO flash lineup. Tell them, yo, I can flash you at A main. You should have the Viper Orb for Ness. Say, yo, we can take mid space. If you're playing a weaker agent on this map where you don't have prep and you're not playing Duelist, then yeah, you're going to struggle on attack. You know why I didn't use Sheriff? Yeah, me neither. Okay. Do you think this is the best angle you can post up with Marshall? Is there any angle you like more? No? All right, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Right pyramid, maybe? Okay, I still disagree. I think you might get shocked if you go right pyramid. You're 20 HP. But I still wouldn't go there, even if I'm like full HP. Top stairs? Yeah, I prefer stairs. I, I'm not sure about top. But I'm definitely thinking stairs. I wouldn't go top, though. They're going to play head glitch. Does that make sense? Why they would play head glitch? It, it should make intuitive sense the moment I say that. I mean, taking an angle where when they peek you, they'll only see your head. They, they won't see your body and they won't see your legs. You'll basically force them to aim for your head, which is beneficial when you're low HP because it's sort of as if you're not low HP. So here's one example of a head glitch angle. If you're playing here and you're crouched, like you're sort of reducing your hitbox and reducing your hitbox doesn't matter when you're full HP because the enemy's aiming for your head anyways. But the less of your body that's visible the, when your HP is lower, the better. And so you can play over here crouched i wouldn't come up here up on top i play here crouched specifically so that way when they peek out they see minimal amounts of you and you can of course stand up to shoot down here because this is going to happen a lot on jet you're going to route mid to a we're going to get into these positions even if you're full hp the stairs angle is generally better generally but this is sort of a death spot to be um there's a similar one on icebox icebox is coming back don't get caught here in the post plants you don't want to get caught here on Icebox in the post plant. You don't want to get caught here on Breeze in the post plant. Because as you get into these higher ranks, you're just going to run into every possible lineup that lands here. Because these spots are just, they're noob traps. People get used to playing them in lower ranks. And then they run into the, the combos on the retakes and you just die for free. I'll sing off you so I just hope that. Okay. So we don't have to swing off Sova here because they don't have a flash. So we should hold with Sova. It's a minor detail, but it's very important. Because they don't have pop flash, there's no reason to play anti like this and swing off of him. It's just slower. Take flight. Okay, good, we drone. Back right, back right, two back side, two back side. They have deagles. Yeah, you're kind of asking for this. Yeah, this Molly's all good. Um, I mean, live and learn, right? If you're gonna route this way again, smoke here before you look this way and you're chilling. Okay, so the whole time I'm attacking, by the way, I'm trying to pay attention to which of these fights the enemy team is willing to give because this is the only way I'm thinking about Breeze attack. So you see they gave an elbow fight, they're giving an a main fight right now. Because if you're remembering in your head as Duelist, I'm really just trying to find these fights. Uh, yeah. One more. Can you get him? I got it. I got it. I have wall. Okay, this is a bit different. Because we don't have anybody mid. If you come play stairs, they walk up mid, you get blasted. That can be okay if we think they're not going to flank because we can ask Viper to come control our mid. But that's probably not going to happen. There, there's basically three threats and we got two of us. So I'm curious what you're thinking. This was so messy. 
perfect 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 so what i'm thinking is i'm gonna play like assuming i can't coordinate with viper which is pretty likely in this scenario i i like front stairs the reason being is worst case is they're both coming this way on me which could happen but it's honestly pretty unlikely very unlikely they're both rotating spawn this late to the round but it could happen but even then i'm pretty confident from off angle that you can get one and then you're putting viper in a 1v1 which is lit because the bombs down viper has a big advantage okay now let's pretend nobody comes because that's like the other annoying scenario so two coming and no zero coming are the two like worst cases two coming i i like our odds we're playing duelist we're in off angle we can probably get one and getting one is enough if zero comes it's actually very interesting uh, because now they have to come for one of these two and I'm pretty sure you can go you can go pretty infinite from here like I like our odds they're coming main I like these fights they're coming mid I really like these fights and we're basically baiting viper on those other two angles so I think stairs is the play um unless you're confident you can somehow double up with this guy let's see I'm walling off a man let's fight CT okay Oh, this is ugly. Watch your first man, man. That pressure. You think about going back to rat spot mid? I think the bomb would need to be planted here. If your Viper planted over here, open in this corner, I like it. But because she plants over here, it, it's actually a lot further away for you to um, clear that diffuser. If she plants here. on this corner, it's really good because you can even see the bomb from here. Because <laughs> you didn't know that. You'll see the diffuser here and yeah, you can kill them. Uh, but with the, the current position the bomb's planted, it's not that good. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're getting punished just because these, these are really cracked. This is going to happen. I, I think the way you try to win 2v1, let, let's say we have to be here now, which is tough. You want to get somewhere where you're a bit wide. So after you shoot... You can walk this way and then like rejiggle. Um, jumping up to shoot and dropping is just a bit slow compared to like jiggling in angle. Neither option is good at this point. I hope that makes sense. Like being able to come back into cover quicker is what you needed. Yeah. Oh, no, bad. Close, close, GG. Close backside, close backside, close backside. Two, two backside, two backside. 120 silver. Oh my god. Yeah, you're you're in the death spot. You're in the death spot. <laughs> I guess it's just a bad habit from Memorial One. This fight's no good. It's no good. It can feel good when you're better, but it's not good. Two back say. It's way better to peek here, here. Uh the updraft peak over the wall was fine. Just pretty much you want to avoid this peak. Unless you're opping. So you scale out onto site, you fight here, this is fine. And now instead of scaling that way, you just smoke. So you can jump over and just come come down and this looks crazy right because i just came out and i'm exposed to this this that the top yellow maybe but uh it's fine because they're not going to be looking here oh make noise yeah you reset too low i think you see it it's a skill issue. Uh, maybe you're not expecting the peak, but that, that you should be. 3A, 3A. And there's the util we were talking about. Updrafting on this box is really good. Uh, we're pressing the issue. Our teammates are committing. Come up here. This Viper is right here. It's not a bad fight. Uh, I would wait to peek out further because the op might hold us, but you can get really deep lines here and you can even see over your Viper wall to get some free kills. Stop. That's tough. That's it. Let me look. Did you peek too low? You did peek too low. Yeah. Okay. Look, I want you to see this. If your crosser was on her head right now, you would have killed her. Do you see how you're moving your crosshair up? That means you've reacted to seeing the jet and you've begun adjusting, which means if you didn't have to adjust, you would have shot your killed her. He's right here. You have this window where you're faster than her, but because we had to make that adjustment, you lose. What you can do, um, if you have a buddy who's around your level, Mortal 3, uh, Low Radiant, take these duels that happen a lot, aim, aim, boot up a custom with them and run it a hundred times. 
Have them hold you with an op a hundred times. Like spend multiple hours in a custom like this and you'll get the reps in way faster. You'll learn how you can potentially fight against somebody holding you with op here. You'll learn what works and what doesn't. Like jump spotting, maybe pre-firing. Maybe you don't want to give up your location, but it, it can be helpful to get these reps in because essentially what we're lacking is the technique. It's not perfect. I I recommend you play King of the Hill. Basically, whoever's over here, the opper, as long as the opper wins, they remain opping. The moment you kill the opper, you swap. And that way you'll also learn what it feels like to be this opper and what works from the ops perspective and what's hard for the op to deal with. Uh, you don't want to just play the one side. So you keep switching, like find another jet main and you can learn what makes the op uncomfortable as well. Like when you're holding against your buddy, what's the most annoying thing for them to do? Um, I mean, hell, Suji's a tier three. He can find plenty of immortal threes in the uh, tier three channel who play on his servers who would be so down to do this. Like, I guarantee it. Asuna, we do not have a Twitter. I don't. What's up, Asuna? <laughs> hey, maybe Asuna will custom with you. Uh, Suji. Uh, hit the customs in the morning before my prac. That's what I'm saying. I'm up eh. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, what the f is this, dude? That's your peak? <laughs> that's your peak? You play super low sense, maybe that's why? Nah, that's cope, dude. Demon Ones plays on one of the lowest senses in the league, and he, he would peak that correctly. If anything, it's the high sense players who peak shit more lazily. You've got to be really intentional with it on low sense. How often we're finding ourselves crab. Uh, this is so awkward. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'll just go fast. They join or no? Get out Welcome of my way! Welcome to my world! That's mid. Fade mid. Backside, 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 backside! Oh, good shit. Damn, this cypher is really annoying. Two. Half ball, half ball. One's up, elbow. Damn, that guy's just alive the whole Fade time. Okay, where did you intend to finish this updraft dash? Backside, backside, backside. It looks like you intended to finish here, but what's the routing? Like, let's pretend that their Sova throws this dart and it's going to tag you because this dart probably will tag you. I just want to know where you're going to go if this dart tags you. So let's pretend Sova throws this dart. Lands up here and it reveals you. Right here. Where are you going to position? Is the darts tagging you? Pillar, maybe. Okay, perfect. The maybe is all I need to hear. Because I was suspect that you haven't fully thought out this hit. Because this is a weird place to land. I don't think I'm going to see many like pro jets route this way on purpose. So there, there's two routings I'm aware of um, that are most common. You route this way. You, you've seen these. You land, you fight backside somewhere. And now you can tuck from that dart using this pillar. You can play over here for safety. And you take this fight, etc. Uh, the other route I see is um, you'll route this way. Yeah. And when that dart comes, you, you can come and tuck like in this box. Let's see? You need to have a plan for what you're going to do against enemy supporting utility. Um, now, the enemy doesn't throw any, which is really suspect. They've got double recon initiator, but I guess we're just playing a new blow. Our routing is a problem. Left felt really uncomfy because the angles. Bet, then go right. Let's pull up a pro jet VOD. He might be right. I just want to see what he does against a, a recon. Okay, it's a bit different, yeah. So first he was trying to land up here. I'm pretty sure. This floating thing is really weird. But he ends more pillar. So this line doesn't have immediate contact onto him. Like both tunnel and half wall don't have these lines. That's the question you have. All right, here we go. Bro, he's really trying to get up there. I'm pretty sure he's just trying to end up here and he's failing and he's getting reps in practicing or something. Is this that hard? It looks hard. Oh, yeah, I'm slow. I'm slow. Wow. You just add a smoke and it's hard. Okay. So the, the order of inputs, ignoring the smoke, is 
you know if you um are single updrafting, which is the only thing you can do now on jets, if you jump right before the updraft, you'll get a bit higher. Just a bit. And so what I'm doing is um jump updraft dashing and holding crouch. It's easier if you crouch at the end. I've been crouching at the end every single time, Shadow Waron. So you have to jump right before the updraft. And hold crouch. And, and it's act it actually hits pretty consistently, but you get like dizzy with the keyboard. So here he came out, landed in a similar area as you and the, the dude is still alive here and so he chooses to route right which makes a lot more sense to me I, I was trying to find this scenario now he gets blasted by cypher which is tough you can see how this is going to be tough for the guy to deal with because this guy is going to be fighting in this manner and it, it's going to be very awkward for them to come over here and hold this very awkward they could but they probably won't one more backside one more Nice. You see? So you see what he does when he ends up having to come right titty? He fights this over. He's got the bomb. Notice we don't just fight a potential threat yellow because this fight low key sucks. So he immediately just jumps spots. Nah, nah, these peaks are ass, dude. Your first peak is acceptable. Um, but are you really this fast? Because you start pre aiming now. I'm not sure you expected an enemy there. Now we've already exposed this guy. And you're pre-aimed here. You fucking noob. What's up with that? You didn't even clear the wall. You just died to this guy now. They've even opt there multiple times this game. What the hell is that? And again, now you're exposing this angle. And here's your crosshair. Like that's zero for four. I don't need to be perfect, but this is like, it feels like we're not even making an attempt to clear these angles. Maybe you think they're not B, but if you think they're not B, then you could play even faster. It's one or the other. You think they're not B, so you just scale out, or you think they are might be B, and so you peak the angles. I don't want you to think, oh, well, there's a, they might be B, so I'll half peak the angles. It's not, uh, not Where's valid. Close, close top left. I know so exactly where. Nice, be clear. Also, if sight should be clear, why the f did we just burn our updraft and dash? Attack, the biggest thing is our approach to the map is not well structured. I don't think you've paid enough attention to pro VODs. I'll, I'll, I'll call you out on that because Tens doesn't play this way. He mostly contests here looking for fights. He plays on this box. He routes bricks and you play very different from that, even though Tens was the first pro that you listed as who you wanted to watch play Breeze when we were looking for Jet Voss. Yeah, I don't like this distance we form with Reyna. Again, I think you're playing anti for her against a team with no flashes. Do you feel? They don't have flashes. This is three wall. Don't peek. What are you doing? 90. You're throwing. I don't care what you killed her. This peek is bad. Smoke it. You smoke it right here. She starts spraying the smoke. You don't run through. You wait. We got dude. We've got dude. Killer hit 90. One B man, one elbow. One elbow, one bottom mid, one B man. Three. That's a good off angle there. Is your teammates are pushing mid? That's Spike totally fine. Mid. Like the moment elbow. your teammates scale out mid like this, they're coming to hold this elbow guy's fine. But look how you peek it, dude. Yeah, this this is consistently a problem. So right here, he could be out elbow on you. Like, look at this shit, man. This is embarrassing. This is going to start biting you. Um, I mean, it already has. The round where you peeked Jet, you died. We're getting to an elo where... uh everyone's cracked like you've got good aim but sometimes you you need good pre-aim because sometimes uh the only thing that'll win you a fight is if you're already on their head see 75 on jet yeah you, you almost lost your team this round by not breaking that dart by the way. see 75 on jet uh because you're the stairs player is kind of your job like you don't need to be peeking out like this to take another bullet at them. You need to be making sure your teammates don't get scanned. Okay. 
Just going out B, your pillar, we have a trip. They're gonna scale right, our cypher's got our right. Let's see what happens. We're also aimed at getting a leg. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Yeah, they're just pushing you right. LP. I, I probably would have ignored left here. If you're really worried about the line behind the trip, I would just smoke it. But we have the trip. So I'm pretty sure you have to fight right side. God, our dart is broken LP. insta. Wow. I don't know who we're facing, but somebody on the enemy team is really good at Valorant. <laughs> Okay, you're peeking with a dart after this. One down. I'm backing up. I'm it. They know there's three on A. I'm rotating instantly. You can stay if you want. Give him dead one. Yeah, good we rotation. Going top mid. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna stay. Nice no, you should run A. You should run A. You should run A. Like w exactly what you just did. You got the kill A. You ran B. You killed them. And now you should just run back A because you got trip, trip, viper wall. I bet they're alone. That's so cringe. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait, are you, are you trying to be good? It's a video game. Getting good at a video game is cringe inherently, dude. Uh, you're, you're getting coaching in a video game. That's that's super cringe. You tell that to a person on the street. Be like, hey, guy on the street. I, I get coached in video games. I'm very serious about video games. That's so cringe. Standing ahead. I think I'm in right now. Okay, okay freeze because you're about to go grab an orb but let's look at the mini map so we have cypher viper on b okay we've got reyna fighting mid alone and we've got Silva rotating off of a i think we just hold this line the upside to grabbing an orb right now is like zero if they come b we're winning so there's like the big threat is if they're walking up elbow or if they come a main we can deal with one of those very easily right now like let's pretend you you float over to elbow instead to cover elbow well then you just created a weakness a main so I think I would rather they push elbow because at least they're going to walk into Viper Cypher. So until we get like any contact or any info, I think you just need to hold this line because I'm worried that they're playing anti to your hecking op peak or some shit. Two. Where they have an A lurker, they're playing slow. Well, they, you, you do not need this much space. They saw me on the drone. You are crazy. Fake dash oh, trip, switch out. Like anybody playing slow mid just kills you for free. Hold on. They know, they know I'm up A. I'm going back right now. They'll probably go back mid carry right now. And now you're the GOAT. But we didn't need to break that it shit. Won't be. Right now. I guess I'm mid. They know, they know. No, she hasn't seen it. They can be here. It's unlikely, but they can be up there, I'm pretty sure. Two. Yeah, they've had timing to do Maybe. it. Maybe not if she's holding this pixel. I mean, I mean, are you checking that though? Probably not. You guys go. They saw me on the drone. Dash, I'm not sure if she gave enough timing or not, but it's like this is unnecessary. Uh, I, I like what we do here, though. Coming back and holding this line is so good. Tag silver. One bottom mid. Silver. I have your elbow. Wait, bye, bye, bye. Silver there too. Nice. Spike. Yeah, I think you're about to make a mistake, and I think you're about to move again. So we see Jet elbow cipher unknown and. As far as I'm concerned, Cypher could still be here. Back down, mid. Wait, bye, we bye, have bye. to be more patient with the op. Unless we've seen Cypher. Where's Cypher? Yeah, no, you, you don't know. You literally come to where is Cypher. Like, you, you just died to him, idiot. And now it's 2v2. You feel? You just gambled all of this when you're up numbers. Because, like, you want to be in the action or some shit. It's crazy. Nice reloading, I think you're too eager to... <sighs> oh, Cypher's yeah, holding yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're too eager to end the round, dude. This happens every time you have a numbers advantage. You're like, well, time to go next round. We already won this one. And you like turn on the fucking autopilot, push them switch. And it's it's costing you. Both mid, both mid. I hope you lose this round. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Valorant Gods. Finally, fucking justice. Viper was... Two, two, two mid. Joining me, man. Joining me. Why did we fall off him, man? Viper was a man. Jump peek. Joining me, man. Joining me, man. Viper, you're so bad. Okay, so when they're joining like this, you actually have a window to peek when the dude's droning people frequently just start like pre-aiming like this getting ready to scale out um they're, they're not really holding expecting you to peek into their drone two, 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 mid. so i was sending a peek where's your shorty one more aim in viper was aim in 
Matt, your peak? Spike down, mid. Oh, I'm not mid. I'm right, man. Viper, what was it? You're dead! Bro, your peak suck! Suji! Another one might be close. Yeah, dude, look at your pre aims. You're actually so lazy. Like, dude. Another one might be close. Dead. You're pulling your gun out right now, dude. This is almost acceptable. Because they're not going to be playing over here. So they will be playing like front pillar. One enemy remains. All right, nice shot. Nice, you didn't think it was lazy? Well, that's because it's not, to be clear. Your pregame is better than pretty much everybody watching this stream right now. No, like If you think you've got better pregame than this guy and you're in chat and you're below his rank, I got news for you. You probably have never watched your own VOZ because you don't. Your pregame isn't bad. But when I compare you to a pro and radiant level, it is bad. Uh, we got to fix that. Okay, no, it's pretty straightforward for you, CG. Uh, do you are too willing to entry without playing for picks unless you have the gods of utility prep GLing you out? Play more mid hunt duels. Your routing, not sight hits, and post plant. Light choices are too far deviated from radiant level play. Study Provaz more closely for these particular patterns. So I just want you watching 10's VODs to, or whatever pro you want, but I think it's going to be 10's. To see where he goes after the bomb gets planted, how does he fight? What fights does he swing? What fights does he jump spot? Those are very different. Does he use cloud bursts? Where does he like to position on average? Like make a heat map. They're like, okay. How many times does he swing here? How many times does he hold here? How many times does he jump spot? Keep a count and check like all of the possible angles because you can come up with like the list of where he plays on each side and just count because he will swing crab. I'm not saying that he'll never swing crab, but noticing that he swings crab 5% of the time will be eye opening and he jump spots it the other 95% or something. I'm making the numbers up. But you need to know how he's fighting these things because you are way, way, way too willing to just dry swing this shit. Um, and you don't play enough stairs, you don't play enough mid, and you don't play enough in this area when you're entering out. And so I need you to pay attention to that. Next, VOD include Valo Plant on the map. You bring with Pro VOD links, plural, that you studied. Include the actual numbers you found from those VODs. I literally want your Valo Plant to be marked up hella where you'll you'll identify his routings and his post plant positions so let's just say you can label them post plant post plant post plant post plant gotta gotta like label them so you can do a thing up here post plant pp and then you'll use like green for routings zoop 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 and I, I want you to like mark it up like this and be like, but like tally them up. How often does it happen? And include like, uh, like really mark it up. Doesn't like to swing from this spot. It's teammates. So like, I'm looking for this type of, um, so you, you really have to be, um, analyzing how he's playing these because you, it's the, it's the minor details that you're lacking. Defense to, to stop rushing to convert one rounds. You lack patience. Pre-aim is too frequently trash and you find tools take them poorly i recommend finding a buddy around your elo and custom one v wanting hundreds of reps are common duels you take so it takes post point only yeah yeah It'd be way too much homework if i'm assigning you like defense positioning rotation timings op angles just look at routing on executes and post plant positioning. That's it. Because that's a lot already. Because I'm expecting you to look at multiple VODs and label them up. It's a lot of homework. But th this is going to expedite the process a lot. Hey, Woohoo Jin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a Discord subscription if you can afford to do so. I run many live events for my tier 3 subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day. At 2,000 subscribers, I'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC 
to play in houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.